Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. This is uh, Chili Mango here, and we're about to play The Long Dark. So, let's start, shall we? So last time uh, we came to Homestead. I think we're still here at the moment. We've more or less looted everything in this region. Um, full health, which is nice. Um, loot wise, we're doing okay. We need some better shoes. Uh, but we've got gloves and a hat, which was the main thing last time. So we're gonna start looking for saplings, um, just continue looting, and we just need to start getting um, rabbits, pelts, deer pelts if we can, and uh, just start aiming towards getting a uh, bow and arrow. So, uh, yeah, let's just. Uh, Crack on, shall we? Not too bad, I think it's gonna uh, get a bit blizzardy. I'm just gonna have a look down here because sometimes there's a sapling. And then we can at least start getting those curing while we're. Um, going through all the other loot. Watch out for the bear. Can't hear him. Soon. Sorry, I thought I could hear some shuffling then. I thought potentially that was the bear. So, I think we're going to head over to uh, Jet Rabbit Island. I was going to see about doing some beach combing, but it is a little bit windy. It's chilly, but we'll be okay. Feel my feet. So I'm not too bothered if we get a little bit cold because we do have a bit of uh, food, got water, we're not too tired, so uh, damage wise, it won't be too bad by the time we get to uh, Jack Rabbit Island. Never felt so cold in my life. Which is just straight in front of us. out for any beach combing, any items. We definitely don't want to fall in. Some rabbits over here, let's see if we can get them. We will attract some wolves, but Hopefully not too much. I can see something over there actually. It's like a container of some sort. So, the key to catching rabbits. To make sure you get down. Try and get in front of them if you can. Makes it a lot easier and he's just decided to run away from me. Which is great. Is there another one? We'll go for this one. So just crouch, head towards him. So you can get quite close to him actually like this. We are a bit cold. Get him in between that. And there you go. So just make sure he's between your hands from the thumb and the top of your finger. Uh, that's kind of where I aim. Get this one again. 
So I aim, getting him in between. We are chilly, so we're shaking. <laughs> and we've got him. I need to drop something. Thank you very much, Mr. Rabbit. So, slot deer out. So we'll head to uh, the island. We'll get the pelts, we'll get those curing, and then we'll continue to have a little look around. fishing huts. The ones with the doors give you an extra bonus, warmth bonus. I've never been so hungry in my life. So, compared to the other ones. So if you're ever around and you're desperately in need of some warmth, just a top tip. I'm just going to drop these so that they don't. No, 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 no. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going to risk that. He's probably going to detect us. No, 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 no. Scares me to death. So the right, so the dog's got us. So I'm actually going to do a big wide circle around him. Keep him at such a distance. And then we can get past. bit slower so we just have to be careful. We're probably gonna just walk at a slight angle to the wind. Just make sure you walk a bit faster because we don't want him getting too near to us. That's the only problem. If he gets too near he starts to charge which we'll just get that out just in case. Oh he's having a little, he's got a little limp. Thing that you actually walk slightly faster when you're going backwards to the wind. Do you know if you're head on? Going quite slow. But it looks like we're going a bit faster. I might have made that up. But it does appear to be it. Now we're just going to sprint a little bit. Now I can't remember being any saplings up here. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Cool. Good, we can warm up. So it's actually quite light in here, so I'm not going to put a light source on. I'm just going to continue to loot around. <sighs> Trying to figure out where that bridge was. I think it's either, is it Pleasant Valley or um, Mystery Lake? Hmm. 
<laughs> I can't believe how much little loot there is in Interloper. Gives me a whole new respect. I like the seasoned, like the seasoned players. Because it's crazy. Hey! Every little helps. And then we can start being picky. I could use this. I, even, I don't think I've got any antibiotics, have I? No. Too much water we've got. We'll take that. So let's take a look at these rabbits. We're going to drop that. There's not much difference, so I'm just going to use my hands, I think. Warming up nicely. We'll have a drink after this. like a blizzard. And let's do the other one. No tool. Hour and 55. Midday. a little note of that because I will forget. So, um, Jack Rabbit Island, two pelts and guts, uh, one sapling. That's not how you spell sapling. I'm also going to just make a note because in Desolation Point, there were two batteries. There was one in the cannery and another by the gate. Because that will come quite in handy later on. Just to know, in case we're having any issues in doing signal void. So let's just have a little look outside. Oh yes, what a lovely, lovely day. Mm, again, I don't really fancy going out in this. Look at it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be outside in this, would you? Okay. Just need to make sure that when it dies down, we don't get cabin fever. We're actually going to drop the meat as well outside. If you ever want to uh, drop any meat or guts or anything quickly, it's uh, number three drops. Oh, back inside, right. Let's see if we can do any repairing. Too bad. Let's get some 
off while we're here. So, we've got a stim, we've got loads of painkillers, some tablets, loads of bandages, so we're doing okay from there. Um, Now I always get confused between what these two do. I think Rose Hips actually is pain. And I think the mushrooms is the antibiotics. Yes it is, I'm sure it is. Right, so I don't really need to pick any more of these because we've got so much painkillers. So we need to get some, when we see mushrooms, we'll get some mushrooms, so then at least we know that we're all okay. So I'm going to do a bit of reading while we're waiting, so I need to eat. Let's have some tomato soup. We are smashing it open because we do not have a tin opener, so we do lose a tiny bit of calories. But it's not too bad. I mean, it does say 24% lost, <laughs> which is a bit more than I thought, but uh, it's fine. Just for now. Read that book, so. Can we do another one before our food runs out? Where Oops. can I find something ah. to eat? Got it. Right, well, it does sound like. The storm is stopped. So if we go that way, I think that takes us to the bridge. And if we go, I think it's this way. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> much for too long. Right, so I think the like all the cabins is this way. I'll leave that other rabbit to live another day. Yeah, it's there where my thumb is. That's where we need to go. So going dark soon and we've got quite a lot of uh, mm -hmm. stamina and we're not too fatigued so I'm just going to run just to make us tired for the night so that we can for a walk shall we now there is a bear that patrols up and down here I've met him a few times so I just need to be careful and then I think the next day we'll head up into these uh, trees and try and see if we can find some more saplings <laughs> so 
So, we're just going to, as you can probably guess, we're just going to stay here for a little bit. We'll eat that and we'll just read, just to make sure that he, he's not around. Feels like night is coming. That right, come. Cool. Pick it up and run. <laughs> so this is quite a good place for having like a little base or a little stop off point because there is an outdoors crafting bench there, workbench, which is quite good because obviously you don't need to craft inside, less likely to get cabin fever, so the bed's there. So let's eat, actually let's harvest first, and then at least they can be curing during the night. Feels like an empty pit. We'll drop that outside later. Probably should wait to get a can opener, but I mean, it's fine, isn't it? We won't worry about it if this was real life. <laughs> some water and let's see if we sleep for 10 hours how much calories we will use right so I need to remember it's 675 so that I don't overeat before I go to sleep perfect I need anything right about now around socks hope nobody needs this oh, more socks so they're better we just need to obviously do the condition Nothing's underneath. Done that. And then when we leave, we'll drop this meat. So I'm just gonna check down here just to make sure there's no hammer. I have found one. Ah, oh, matches. That'll come in handy. That will come in handy. No hammer or anything. No. Like I said, the loot might be different in Interloper, but I have found one there before. I need to find food. We were in that one, weren't we? Check the bin. 
So. Oh, is it going windy again? Check around here. I have family around here. out here but it's far too cold. Get chilly quite quickly. Okay. Let's just read. We'll warm up and then we'll go on our little mission. All I can think about is food. Can we hear a bear? Don't think so. So I do know this uh, trail quite well. Here. I think it takes you to like a playground or a, or a campground or something. Um, and then up to the ravine, which we won't go there yet. Yeah, we've still got quite a lot to uh, loop, but I've done this many a time. around here but I don't know exactly where I was saying. Hmm. I thought there were saplings around here. Hmm. I think that was just a twig. <laughs> the 
can be a bear around here. I've had to sneak past him many a time. So we're just going to be semi careful. We're going to get these mushrooms. Bear Creek Playground. Playground, campground. These as well. see up there between those trees is where I'm heading to where my top finger is I don't like to um, touch these at all because I like to use them as um, feather farms however if we are desperate in need for food or you know something to craft to do the deer hide or something we will do it but I try not to do it too often so basically what that is is any carcasses which are already in the world that have been like ravaged yay Brilliant. So, like I was saying, if there's any like half uh, ravaged carcasses in the world that are that's born in, um, if you touch them at all, even if you just look at them, they start to decay. I think it's like two to four days ish, and then they disappear. However, if you do not touch them, um, they become essentially like a feather farm. So basically the idea is is that you know crows would feed off it and they would leave their feathers there. So I don't like to touch them, I like to leave them. And then whenever I am in an area, um I know that there's gonna be Oh, nice. Better condition. I know that there's gonna be some feathers scattered around next to all the boxes. So that's the reason. But like I say, if we're in desperate need, I will do it. Right, carry on. So I think we're going to carry on following this river get to where we would go into the ravine how many cocktails do we have actually don't have any okay my bad I'm sure we had some oh Unless I'm getting confused between another game, but anyway, so collect some cattails. So yeah, I'll go to where the entrance is to the ravine. Um there is a trailer up there, which I'm guessing will still be habitable on Interloper. Go in there, have a little loot round, and then I think that's where we will sleep for the day. Well not sleep, but stop for the day. Um, oh yeah, we are getting close to the, the end of the evening.
in the more long-term priority, I think we need to head towards Timberwolf and uh, Ash Canyon and then we can get the tactical backpack which would help us with weight, we can carry more and Timberwolf Mountain is obviously a great route up there and we do have a hacksaw so we'll be able to loot that um, and I'm sure there's a hammer spawn in Timberwolf but again who knows so that is the entrance to the ravine and down here there is a cabin and for the, any of you who are on Stalker um, the different variants of the rifle um, I usually like to collect them when I'm doing my Stalker run uh, this is one of the spawn points for one of the uh, unique rifle variants so this is a regular point of me uh, coming up here to check to see if there's any rifles don't think it's this one but it's the next one down there yeah I think Actually, there's another train. I'm sure there's another train. Where the rifle's on. Hmm. A little look round. There is the trailer. Feathers. I think I can use this. Yes, better. See, look at the difference. Definitely. there for today when we get back we will uh, harvest other sweaters and shoes we'll do up any bits that we can do um, let me just drop these just so I remember yeah great um, we'll probably sleep here when we wake up um, Sorry, when we come back we'll probably sleep here and then carry on. Uh, just continue to loot, um, continue to try and find things, get some better clothing. Um, if we can try and make a bow then that'd be great but of course we do need to find a hammer to be able to make that arrowhead. So we've got lots to do anyway. Uh, that'll be me. I hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you next time. Goodbye.